Good morning. Good morning, Rue. How from are you? From the farm. Do- yeah, good morning from the farm. How was your orange? It was gorgeous. Mum Absolutely was just trying gorgeous. to feed one of the ewes behind her an orange. Yeah, she uh, had a good sniff, didn't she? She, <laughs> she didn't... did. No. no she one didn't of the very it. few times I've heard you say, get a photo of this one. Well, yeah, because it was quite nice. It, it was, was a nice moment. It means that, you know, she loves me. Yes. Much I feed her, so she's coming for food, isn't she, really? <laughs> Still, I think yeah, a lot nice. of them love you very much, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, um, we have good relationships with our girls. Some of them are a bit <laughs> wildy. The Herdwicks, probably. But, um, they're quite calm in here. Would that be because they're pregnant that they're just, they don't have the energy to run away? No. Yeah. We don't want them doing anything. They want to do very little. They want to walk to the hay rack and then go and lay down again. Yes. And then go up to the water and have a little drink. And that's it. We do not want them doing marathons. Well, they so, certainly won't do, weren't doing no. any marathons when I no, was... No, because every bit of energy they need for being a, l- looking after their unborn ba- lambs inside their tummies. Yes, that's and it. so the ones behind you are triplets. Yeah, all triplets in here. We're um, in sort of the, the high... High, high, depend- priority. high dependency unit. High de- <laughs> HDU. <laughs> I like it, yeah. That sounds very official. I know. That's the nearest I'm going to get to a HDU. Is that but... the other... Is that oh, a, yeah, actual... everybody has triplet pens. Everybody... But is what... it called a, hate, a no. high... De- no. That was really good on the spot, yeah, Mum. Yeah, good. Blimey. That's very good. <laughs> it was good. And I've got the, you know, I've said the waiting game as well. I'm. This is the waiting game yes. podcast. Yes. We have not had a lamb yet, so this podcast is called The Waiting Game. (laughs) Mrs... uh, I like it. I get very edgy and, oh, I can't wait to see, you know. So who have we got out here, Mum? Um, So we've got all the twins out there, all the twins, and um, they go out during the day. They go out in the morning about half, uh, eight o'clock time, and then if it starts really, really raining bad, they come in. Yeah. Uh, we've got the triplets inside, and we've got the singles that we're going to bring home from Roundhill today. Mum's even named the podcast for me, which never happens. So it's called the waiting it's game. It's waiting this game. One. Well, yeah, it's, it's just the ner- it's nerves, isn't it? It's nerves. It's, well, it's also, having our first lambs, and you know, there's a, there's a horrible thing that has devastated lots of sheep farmers across the country, and that's called Schmallenberg. Schmallenberg. Yeah. And it's a horrible midges that. that fly across from the continent. And um, they come over and bite our sheep as they're being tupped. And then you get um, all sorts of yeah, you complications. Know, dead lambs and lambs that won't do. And lambs, you have to have mm. caesareans because you can't get them out. And horrors. So I'm getting very edgy about things. OK. <laughs> oh, dear. And I watched um, Country Farlin. Adam had had one, and then they went to a pedigree, Suffolk, she'd got Suffolk's, and one batch of hers, you know, she'd lost, like, half the lambs, and it's like, flipping it. Half 40, of them? 40%, I think she said, 40%. Wow. So. Oh, my goodness. And, and obviously, the other thing to report is there's, surprisingly, on my side at least, there's no lambs on the farm yet. Oh. I just want to see... Um, a live lamb. We, you always get ones. Yes. You always get problems, but you know when you're... Oh, I just want to get started now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I can imagine. So they're really peed off as well, um, because they're grunting and groaning, and <laughs> if you saw the size of their bellies, as we can see when we come in here, they are like plumbing heck. Yeah. And they can't get comfortable. I've had to have one... Um, one was prolapsing, so I've had to have the vet out to one of them, and he's actually sewn back bits up. Yeah. And then when she's getting near, then... Cos she literally wanted to kill herself. Cos oh. what happens is that it's so, there's so little room, she's only a small ewe, um, and there's not enough room in there, and she can't get comfortable, and she's like, right... I feel like I want to push, and then she pushes it out, and you're... Oh, yeah. no. So we have a harness on, and then I have something called a spoon that actually holds it in as well, and that was on as well, and she was still pushing like crazy. It's like, I want some. I want her to have a live lamb, so yeah. we had the vet out, and I don't care. And that, I assume, or presumably, is this... This is the harness, and they can actually... I know it sounds bonkers, and people will say, you are joking. So it just goes round her neck round her back legs, through, round 
just to, but I could probably get that one off. She'd got a bad leg and when she got up, you could see, and so I just put a harness on as a, an insurance policy. Right. They're brilliant things. Yeah. And then you just take it off and they can actually lamb through. I've had sheep lamb through them. I thought you were joking, I don't believe it. But they actually lambed through the small... Wow. Yeah. The seems incredible, but it's... There you go, have a carrot, girls. Yeah? We've got some naughty herdwigs in here, but um, they're basically triplets. Awesome. But you can see, I don't know how to lay in here. I, I'm like this. Yeah. And, oh, and then I'm whistling at them because I think they look dead. <laughs> but they're not really dead. They just try to lay over on their sides. And, and they sit like dogs as well, as you can see. Yeah? But it is comfortable for you. So they Very have a little comfy. bit. And so they're fed differently to the singles and the, the doubles because they're triplets and they've only got little tiny spaces now for their stomach. You have to get the food into them still and you have to give it them into, in, so they have small meals. Mm. So they have a little bit in the morning and then Dick's got a couple of favourites in here like the Herdwick that is losing condition, we don't know why, but she has about six meals a day. But And then they have a little snack in the, they have a feed in the evening. Right. So they've got, you know, it's no good giving them a great load of... So, but you have to feed them very carefully. We've had a lovely couple of weeks, really, in terms of uh, sunshine-wise, but, but today is just grim. The ground is sodden still. Yeah, it's still really wet, yeah. But in saying that, the... Once we get two or three dry days, it's amazing how quickly the ground right. dries up. But it needs to, Rue. Go and look out in that field where the girls go. It's like, you know, I'm looking at cattle thinking, I can't wait for you lot to go out. It's like, <laughs> it seems a long way away. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. I am impatient. <laughs> so. And so is everything else going OK, typically? It's just a been a focus on sheep, has it? Yeah, and we've been making pens and we're scratting around for hurdles. So everything is falling to bits now because there's, all oh, right, we'll have that hurdle. Mum, that's hot. No, that's it. Just put a pallet in there. That's we'll... holding that up. Well, yeah. it doesn't matter. Come yeah, on, bring come it on. in here. We need that gate. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, that little bit of mesh on. Yeah, it's just, um, see there, I've made some pens there, but lambs will get through there, Rue, so we've got to get mesh. I actually took a few photos of those <laughs> earlier, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the hardest part of the, that operation specifically, what's behind me, is um, it's just you can't open it without opening all of it, if you know <laughs> what I mean. That's the hard bit. But uh, you're going around the other... Yeah, it's, it's the other side. I'm going, to, um, I'm going to have two pens there, and wherever those pallets are, we're going to have a couple of pens there, because, you know, I keep coming down, I think, I'm not going to make pens, because that, that really will slow it up, but yeah. I need to make pens, because <laughs> if I come down there and I've got to start scratching about for... So, yeah. But I've got all my bits and bobs, my tubes and my, my powdered colostrum mm. and uh, my buckets. I've got me... I've actually got some very posh bucket holders. You've been buying... No. No, that was a present from John and Pam for looking after their farm. They oh. bought me some bucket holders, so I bought some new buckets. They, they know how to treat you. They Blimey. know how to treat and me, And I yeah. mean that sincerely. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got nice little... Um, and then nice little small buckets because... OK, um, great. Yeah. Oh, so they sort of sit off the floor, maybe, so the yeah. lambs can't get in there yeah. and the mums can... Right, that's good. That's a good little invention. But, yeah, so... Cows doing OK? Not Cows really are getting very f fat. OK, Very yeah. pregnant. Yeah, yeah. So everything's going to be giving birth soon. Thanks for tuning into the podcast this month. I've had a little look back at some of the previous years and it's actually incredible that there are no lambs to show you this month. I was hoping I might have a lamb to show everybody today, but no. <laughs> well, it makes the suspense so even greater for next if time. If I do get a month. lamb, I'll send it to you and then you can... Yeah, if, if, it, it. If, if it comes in time, Edit then... Uh, it in. What's the first lamb going to be called, or is that completely dependent on the... Oh, Freddie's going to name it. He said, I've got my grandson's down at the minute, and he yeah. wants to name the lambs. Great. So Freddie will name it, and then I'll tell you. 
Awesome. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. T tell, uh, send me a text then with the photo, the name and the date. Yeah. Or time, maybe. Yeah. And, so um, I thought, you know, so people have said to me that there's been quite a few, you know, they've sort of started earlier than... So okay. and I was thinking, oh, yeah. Well, the, t I am, I, the due date is the 5th of April, so I'm not far off of it. Two days, girls. Who's going to be first? Is yeah. it going to be one of you cats? It is a bit funny sort of looking at them thinking, <laughs> well, you're all... <laughs> I mean, how much... How much bigger can your udders get and your bellies? It's like, yeah. yeah. But they look pretty content. They're content, though, eh? They're all rhythmically breathing. A few days after I was down here, and I think incredibly on their actual due date, Mum had her first double. They were born on April 5th and named Little Cutie and Fluffy Pie. It's a lovely time of year. I absolutely love yeah. it. And all the daffodils and the bulbs and the trees, all the trees are coming out. Look, the hedges are all greening up. Yeah. Oh, I just, I mean, it's lovely. It's new life, isn't it? It's new. It's grand. It's gorgeous. Um, it's an amazing time of year. And we Spring. had a lovely get together, didn't we, on Sunday, which yeah. was super And it was your birthday. birthday on and Monday. birthday, yeah, we had the birthday. That was lovely. Yeah, yeah, it's been really nice. Was it quite nice to not have some lambs to look after on your birthday for once? It was. It was very. It was. <laughs> it was a luxury. <laughs> I bet. A real luxury. <laughs> Because it must be later than I ever... Cause, so I put out a video for Easter, just a little minute one that I do. If you yeah. don't get those, you can subscribe on flankfarm.com. I put one out and it was... The footage actually was from March and there were lambs. Yeah, sometimes I have some early ones. Yeah. But I've really gone off it because I think, oh, my goodness. Oh, so that was a decision you made to have them a bit earlier. I mean, I gotcha. do like having gotcha. a few early ones. Yeah. It's nice to have, but... But you, you can really feel... You can see why farmers do it now because the, it does really... Ch the weather really some of the, changes. You know, when... Like March time, when you have all that rain, it rains and rains. It's just horrible for... Yeah. for the lambs. They can put up with anything. They can have it quite frosty and it can be windy, this, that yeah. and the other. And rain is OK, but relentless. Does it depend on the breed too as to their, their resilience with it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. How are the pigs doing? Pigs are really good. The pigs are still in the... I've got four, I've got six left and um, the girls are pregnant. And so in May, you'll be getting more pigs. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> We've done well with the pigs. Oh. I'm the world's worst pig farmer. Are you? Yeah, probably. Probably. No, <laughs> but I, lo I love the pigs. They're gorgeous. They, they came gorgeous. bounding out when yeah. I went over there. <laughs> Yeah, and they have loads, loads of scraps, and they're just... Yeah, and they love being out, out and running around, which is really nice for them. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be new life, new life, new life. Yeah, absolutely. But I can't put Tommy in his pen. We made a nice temp pen for Tommy in the field, but it's just like he's up to his... He's wallowing in mud. Oh, no. Where's Tommy, then? So he's, he's still in with the girls, and they're really pulled <laughs> off with him because he's eating all the grub. <laughs> so I've got to find oh, a, Tommy. a place for him. Do we have an animal of the month for this month? Well, we have to have an animal of the month for this month. So what is the animal of the month? I haven't really thought about it. Not <laughs> at all. Shock. Shock, horror. Who do you want to pick? Do you want a cow or do you want a sheep? I think whoever comes to mind for you. <sighs> yeah, all right then, we'll have Snowy. Snowy? Yeah. I'll introduce you to Snowy. Follow me. Follow Look, this is this is this is the Herdwicks. This is how they heat. They're very unconventional. I know. I saw that last time. It's so funny. Look, look at it. So, for everyone that doesn't know, you're supposed to eat through the base of this thing. <laughs> and Although see, they've normally got a lid, haven't can they? Can like everybody this? see as well? Because I keep looking in here and I think, oh no, it's a dead lamb. No, but this is salt. This is Himalayan rock salt. I've told you about this before. Yeah. But literally, we could go like this. I have Himalayan rock salt. 
It's yeah. amazing. So I put big lumps, and even the babies, even the little oh, ones. Oh, really? They are all licking away at the... They love it. Yeah. And your Massey's back. Oh, I love my Massey, yeah. Last time, it was a bit ill. It was sick. It was sick. Yeah. But now it's but going now again. It's going. We're going again. Come on, you, Frankie. Are you crazy? Oh. <laughs> Let me show you Snowy. He is such a kind, quiet, lovely little chap. And Snowy. Um, yeah. He's yeah. definitely uh, different to the others. And he was he was white when he was born. He was totally white. We were like, oh, wow. wow, and he's like sort an of albino. going. Yeah. And now he's getting the red rony look. Are you clever? Are Snowy you clever? cow of the month. Yeah, Snowy. And wait till he goes out and you see him when he's been out for a month. He'll be like, oh. He has got a nice colour to him, hasn't he? And he's very quiet and loving. He's such a beautiful boy. Um, his mum is stumpy. And um, when his he was... His mum is stumpy. Yeah. When he was born, he was <gasps> white. He was a... And he's such a lovely little thing. Little chubby thing, so... Snowy sounds great. Snowy it is. I think we kind of need to help Mum with some more original names in the future. And with all the lambs coming, please let me know of any good ones in the comments. We then revisited the conversation about the triplet pen, which we were sat right in the middle of, unfortunately, at times. Thanks, mate. Do you yeah. think at this point they're pretty eager to just, like... Get this done and... Some of them, yeah. Yeah, just Definitely. like, get me back out on the grass. And... Yeah, I mean, look at old Pant and Puff over there. She's like, <laughs> for goodness sake. But, I mean, it's not a bad life, is it? We do, don't choose to have triplets, you know, they're... <laughs> yeah. We, we really, and like the Herdwicks, the Herdwicks are only really singles. That's what the Herdwicks are bred for, to have singles. Yeah. Because they're out on the hills and moors. I've got a Herdwick in here that's having triplets. And it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> there she is laid down there. But she seems happy enough. We just want them all to be safe and well and... Yeah, and that's the problem with the triplets is it's is, is slightly higher risk, isn't oh, it, yeah. I suppose? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes you get two lambs and a blob, you know, yeah. a little... But, you know, you just want the ewes to be safe and well and uh, yeah. we get some live lambs and that's it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Got my dog causing yeah. a real scene over it's there. It's Frankie. Dear me. <laughs> you can't win, can you? Um, oh, are, you are you looking forward to Glastonbury? I am really looking forward to Glastonbury. I can't wait. Yeah, I'll well, see the stalls. I've never been to Glastonbury. I'm not cool enough, you know, like you. But I. Um, it's one of the things I love. I always they watch do it on comedy the there. They do huh? all sorts. It's not just music. A bit music. of jazz. I know oh. that, that makes me sound really naive, but I should have known that. But yeah. They do everything. And all the foodie tents and all the, you know, I, 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 I like to think I'm a little bit hippified. I really like the, you know... I would say you're definitely a bit hippie, yeah. Let it all hang out, <laughs> brigade. But, Please you know, don't. Just, no, but you know what I mean. It's, they have a nice ethos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it and, should, um, yeah, it should be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know what I'm... Yeah, I'm going to be For amazing. For your birthday, I was trying to find you, like, a, a funky... Uh, <laughs> piece of clothing so i'm gonna keep looking tie-dye yeah so you <laughs> know it's some festival like because i think you'd really suit it i think i'm gonna have to take me waterproof and me well is i guess sure. so yeah yeah i mean it's the uk so you you never know what you're gonna get you know that better than most it's been really wet some years but, but... i'd like to see the farm and um i have how many uh, farmers you reckon go to glastonbury oh a few i should think yeah hope so perhaps i have a farmer's tent yeah yeah, but I mean, mostly they're they're making hay at that time of the year. I have to say, it's, oh, right, it's yeah. not the best time <laughs> of the year for farmers are always at the mercy of the weather. So I hope, for all sorts of reasons, that it holds and works out this year for Glastonbury. Earlier in the day, I caught Mum in the shop. Here's what I found. Here we go. We're in the shop. Some nice photos in here. <laughs> Nice one, look at the oak tree. Oh, yeah. I like Sunny on the Renault seat as well. Oh, yeah. Got a piano in here. Play Two. a quick, <laughs> quick, quick tune before we get started. Yeah, get us, get us in the mood. 
And this is what we sell as well. Can we just have a thing about the? It's called. It's not just muck. It's magic muck. Okay. Yeah, that's marketing. So we sell that, and uh, we give the proceeds to children in need. Awesome. Yeah. Does it work, the magic muck? Um, I sell tons of stuff. <laughs> it's actually a bit of a pain because it's like, oh no, I've got to start shoveling muck in bags. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and people come and they say, I want 18 bags. It's like, oh no, please don't do that to me. <laughs> just bring, you know, just open the boot up and let's fill you up, you know? It's like, oh. How funny. Right, okay, well, um, We've got we've got a lot going on, haven't we? And, yeah, I've got a lot going on today. Um, and so but I'm very thankful for you spending the time to That's chat okay, to me Roo. and share what's going on at the farm uh, with everyone. I mean, um, Unfortunately, there's no lambs, but that's not really unfortunate. It just means there's going to be more next time. Yeah, so. you're going to be. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be good. And if I get some lambs before the end of the week, you're going to be seeing them, guys and gals. So that's <laughs> yeah, it. you're going to send me a couple um, of pictures and. Yeah, that'd be great. And sending lots of love to everybody on that's listening and watching. And yeah. I hope you're doing good and you're feeling strong and fit and ready to go. Ready for spring. Ready for spring. Yeah. Getting out there. That like T-shirt weather. Yeah. Yeah, get those seeds planted and go for it. Love it. Yeah. Thanks, Mum. You we'll take care, We'll speak to you Doc. soon. And yeah, love to everyone. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for joining us this month. It's really special to share our farm with you. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them and pose them to mum next month. If you haven't already and you've made it this far, subscribe. It'll keep me plodding on my mission to show more people what small farming looks like here in the UK. Speak to you soon.